There are some people that are at God tier status when it comes to mechanical keyboards. I'm kind of in there. I appreciate a nice click and a nice key switch. And mostly I just know what I hate in keyboards. So if I touch something that is lacking the tactile feel, then I'll be like, get this thing out of there. I need to get a real keyboard in front of me. Well, today I'm lucky enough to have some of the best stuff out there sitting on the desk. Uh, the company is called Mountain and this is their top of the line Everest keyboard. It's not just a keyboard though, it's a whole modular situation where you can attach accessories to the keyboard itself, including these little screens and number pads. It's a, it's a really elaborate thing going on here. Well, this model here is the Cherry MX Brown, but I have all the switches here. That's the wild part. Brown, silent, the red, the speed switch, the blue switch. I know this has been quite the preamble here, but the reason is because we're gonna do a which switch is which and which switch is best. It's gonna involve Willie Do, it's gonna involve Mo. We're gonna click some switches. This thing is wild. Look at this layer. Look at how cool this is. Unique media dock, customizable display keys. The Cherry MX keys are hot swappable and plate mounted. RGB backlight on a per key basis. I should also mention we have their new mouse. This is a lightweight yet not minuscule mouse. Mechanical keyboards are uh, super popular amongst gamers, but we like them here on the production side of things because we're doing a lot of video editing and we have many other reasons to be typing on keyboards as well. To reach your summit, you look at I me mean, like, look at the components on the box. You're gonna hang on to this box. Certainly this is not a cheap keyboard, but that's kind of the point. This is for the enthusiast. This is for the individual who's looking for something more premium. We have the keyboard right here. Actually, it's not insanely heavy. The first thing I notice is this uh, cable management, the way that they have routed everything so that you can have the cable going out wherever is most pleasing for you. We have one type C connector, another type C connector, and then a USB A port as well. Wow, check this out. This is, I suppose, where you can attach the number pad. The number pad can connect either on the left-hand side, I notice a magnet here as well, or onto the right-hand side. So whichever you prefer, uh, depending on your individual setup. I like the fact that the number pad is removable. Sometimes I might have a, a more slim setup and just go for the main unit and not be encumbered by that. Little extra touch on the escape key. In this case, it is the mountain logo. Of course, all these keycaps removable as mentioned previously. Now, I am actually not gonna type on this keyboard right now because we're gonna play guess the switch and we're gonna pick our favorite switches. So I'm just gonna put this to the side for a quick moment. Also in the package, you're gonna receive this wrist rest. This is a must. Some people swear by this, some people need this, others don't like it. For me, that's a nice soft touch to it. I'll take it. Just clicks in with the, I like the magnetic theme here. Wow, look at the unboxing experience. It's all in there, man. Customize, media dock, number pad, and USB cable all get their own separate unboxing here. That is one of the thickest USB cables braided so it's going to be durable type c on each end specifically designed for your everest max keyboard oh, so this is the number pad now this one feels robust as well cool so these are going to light up as individual little screens look at the way that this mechanism works for either side that's cool so these will poke out whether you want to have it right hand right side mounted or left side mounted I like the way they did that. Now, as far as attaching this is concerned, oh baby, the magnets kick in and look at your setup. It's really that simple. This is quite a cool little deal they've got going on. Now, here is the media dock. Change your settings on the fly. And this one is gonna be, look at that tactile. 
So this one is going to be used for quickly adjusting things like volume. I mean, that's how I would use it. I would definitely use the wheel for volume. It's also a display. So this is where you can have the weather or your volume amount, a variety of other things. It looks like it can remind you to, to do some deep breathing meditation. Anyway, you have other dedicated buttons here as well, like if you need to quickly mute, play pause, skip tracks and such, and then a type C connector on the other side. And again, I presume you can mount it on whichever side is more convenient for you. I'm gonna plop that in like that. Now check you out. You got this, you got that you have yourself a super setup. This is gonna be our tools for removing keycaps. Wow, what exactly is going on here? So here we have a key removal tool, magnet in the center. Wow, check this out. So we have different magnetic feet so you can get the exact angle you want for the keyboard. So I could be like, I like quite an angle here. I'm gonna put two over there, two on the other side, and then put the final foot over there. You could have it even more of an angle because they give you lots of these to customize and i flip it over and now i have the exact angle that i like put this one Ooh, okay that is yeah way more sturdy so that's cool and then i guess if you want to have the regular escape key instead of the special mountain logo key you can do that that's in the customized box and then there's some different key switches so it seems that this is just to give you a taste of what the different key switches feel like and are capable of because the whole system is customizable if you wanted to swap out certain keys for gaming or something and you want the rest of the keyboard to be a different key switch you could actually do that on this keyboard so whether it's key caps or if it's even full out switches customizability never ends here. All right, let's push this to the side real quick. Everybody's into these super lightweight mice right now and uh, they're hopping into that game. It also has customizable RGB because you have to. Water repellent PCB coating, Omron 50M switches, 100% PTFE mouse feet. Magnetic enclosure on the box. Yes, it is a very lightweight mouse and cable here. I guess we have some replacement feet also included. Holy cow, yes, super, super duper light. And no, you do not feel the cable. USB type A connector. You can of course plug the mouse directly into the keyboard here, like this. Ooh, very smooth and nice. We have a scroll wheel, obviously, a sensitivity selector, forward, back, clickable. That's wild. I mean, you can like see right through it. Hopefully Mo can give you a good shot of this. It's going to be tremendous ventilation in there. Pixart PAW3370, adjustable optical gaming sensor with up to 19,000 DPI. Let's go ahead and uh, tap some keys. Why don't we? I'm gonna start at the very top. Mm, yes. It is obviously nowhere near the clickety clack of like a blue switch. Hmm. Listen to the difference. Ding, 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 ding. Oof, okay. Woo! We are in the blue zone. This is silent. They still feel good, but somehow not having any uh, audible feedback is tough. Oh, I find this to be quite satisfying, this one. Get out of here, that's insane. This, I can... No. This one gets elevated. The orientation's gonna stay when Will comes in here now. That could be brown too. Oh no, this is red. So, blue, red, brown, speed, silent. Those are my guesses. And my favorite is hard. This is a very hard choice. 
I'm gonna take this one right here. This is my pick. I'm not gonna move them anymore because Will's gonna come in here now. But this is this is gonna be my favorite one, which this this might be a, a weird um, development because I don't think I've ever owned that key switch before, whatever it is. But we'll find out. Uh, Willie, do get in here. Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> This is a solid blue. Okay, I like that. I like the blue. Interesting. I think before you try to guess which is which, just let's just focus on your favorite and why, and then we'll see if you can guess them after that. All right. Interesting. These two. Wow, these ones are a little harder. They are both quite satisfying. <laughs> I ended up picking this one right here. I, I agree. This one's pink. Yeah. This one's blue. This one is brown, mainly because it has a nice thump to it. It's a thud. I know. And I've used brown before, but, but they're similar though. They're not that different. I'm going to change it up. This one is the speed and this one's the red. Okay. So you have blue speed. Brown. Brown. Red. Red. And silent. Pink. The pink. I, I picked yeah. this one as my favorite. You like that one, okay. Yeah. I would probably still go with the blue. I'm a big fan of the blue. Or no green. But, you're just going to be uh, noisy. We're going to hear clacking from all the way down there. Yeah, that's that's me. Okay, that's fair. And yeah. what if you had to pick a second choice? Uh, Probably the silent. <laughs> I go for, like, <laughs> wait very a, different. Wait a second. But, uh, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> it's not a gradient here. It's either... I go really like you're on loud. Pol you're on the polar opposites. Silent. I should let you guys know at this moment that uh, Mo doesn't really care that much about keyboards, so he's gonna give you the I don't know layman regular guy I just approach. Like the sound of this stuff. Oh, this is nice. That's silent, or we're guessing it's silent. We're yeah. gonna find out. Yeah, blue to silent. It's Will's two picks as well. It's so weird. It's like you either want the noisiest thing or the most quiet thing. I think, by the way, what you guessed, I agree with that. Okay. But I'm going to go with blue still. Okay. So we have yeah. two blue picks. He also likes the silent. Will also likes the silent, which is kind of wild. Mo has the same guess as me. Will's guess swaps those two. That's tougher. Okay, pink. No surprise. Will's guess was because it's a little heavier. So like, how can it be speed? He's right. We're wrong. We're idiots. Speed. It is. Speed? It oh, is. Okay. We were right. <laughs> Will claims to be to know the most about keyboards of all of us. Yeah, that's the speed. It's interesting that I picked that one because I've never used it before. I've had red brown blue in the past this new uh new to me speed key switch that's pretty cool all right this one we thought this was brown yeah everyone thought it was brown. this one is this is a brown it's red <laughs> this one is red we need a keyboard you know red and brown is is quite similar assuming obviously that this is brown which it is last up the one that no one was really um fooled by the blue the loudest of the bunch from my taste it's like kind of in this range here but that's cool i discovered something about myself blindly here that i like this speed uh key switch cherry mx speed so anyway we were pretty close uh i guess you were the worst performer will you got three wrong i don't want to talk about it Final tally, though, is, is kind of interesting to me. This The classic blue switch is still the switch of choice for a keyboard aficionado like Will and for a mechanical keyboard newcomer like Mo. What a sound, though. Everybody has heard this sound. I like this one better. Cool. The Nanatac XL. So this is an XL. This will be your mouse and keyboard that'll sit on this. Ooh, that's a mouse pad right there. I'm going to do my setup right now. Thank you. 
I think I'm actually gonna put the number pad on the left so I can have my mouse closer to the keyboard here on the right. I got my quick display keys up top. I feel like I would reach up with my right hand to adjust volume quickly or hit these multimedia keys. And then for the mouse, maybe I'll mix it up and go with the white one. Now, arguably this rib cage design looks even cooler on the white model because the, the components on the inside are more distinguishable from the cage. So you can just see how much open air is in there and how light it is. Even though it's honestly like stupidly lightweight, the other thing to mention about it is it's full size. So they were able to achieve that weight without having to shrink the mouse. So because I hate a small mouse. I gotta have something substantial over there. And this is absolutely that. So this is my setup. This is the way that I would do it. They also make a smaller uh, mouse mat. The Mountain Nun Attack, medium size. This is gonna be strictly for your mouse. Still a, like, still a generous mouse pad, but uh, just for the mouse rather than the keyboard and the mouse. So there you have it, one of the most advanced modular keyboards you can buy with quality Cherry MX switches of your choice. No matter what your preference happens to be, you can be like Willie Do and choose very loud blue key switches for that distinctive sound. Or you can be like me and go for the new speed key switches, which are a little more subtle yet equally satisfying in my opinion. You can go with this gunmetal gray or you can choose the midnight black. You can get crazy with it with your different modules, your different components, and then of course your key switches. I mean, it's truly endless. Your key switches or your key caps, it's, uh, it's a wonderful, oh, and I almost forgot the wrist rest. Also an option, also magnets. Is this the ultimate keyboard for both productivity uh, and gaming, it's quite possible that uh, I, th I feel like this can satisfy pretty much anyone and their taste. It is the Mountain Everest Max. Check it out.